Kaizen is a compound of two Japanese words that together translate as good change or improvement. However, Kaizen has come to mean continuous improvement through its association with lean methodology and principles. And there is me thinking that they just chose Kaizen because it began with a K and it was like alliteration. Actually, it has meaning behind it. Nice. So these are the Korda Kaizen rods. You may have actually already noticed these in the latest underwater film that Korda put out, because I know I spotted it. They did a few little cutaway shots of the rods which showed the Kaizen name quite clearly, and I thought, I wonder if they're gonna talk about it. They didn't. I think they're just being a bit subliminal about it. But I've now got my hands on these. These should be coming out in March. They are premium products, and I'll give you the price straight away. They're around the 374 to 479 RRP. So they are premium products but you can tell straight away. I got out with these last week when I first got them. I just came up into this exact swim. Actually, most of the lake was frozen, but there was a little slither of water all the way out there where I could have a bit of a cast, where I'd get a bit of a feel for them before I came fishing with them and actually did a sit down piece with them. And I think I don't have the mic on or anything at the time. I was just getting some casting shots, but my initial thoughts was just, wow. You can tell these are premium products and built for the job. I get to film loads of different products and a lot of things do the job, do them well. You can fish good distances with them. But when you have something of this quality in your hands, you can just feel it and, and really that shone through quite clearly. And I'm quite a big person, 6'1", but the handle was perfect for me and given a, a good old cast. It was really, really impressive. Now I'm going to cut away to some of the shots now from last week, starting off actually with the spod rod. I've got the 12 foot spod rod here. I had just a few casts of that with the, just a four and a half ounce lead on, I think it was, just to get a bit of a gauge of it. I know I wasn't putting bait, I wasn't using it with a heavy loaded spod. I just wanted to get an idea of what that was capable of. And as you can see, I started doing a few casts and then I wrapped it out at 140 yards and gave that a whack. And as you see, quite clearly hit the clip hard. So I then wrapped out at 150, gave that a crack. Again, hitting the clip at 150, and that's already equaling my furthest ever cast. And that was out doing a casting tuition with Ed Betteridge several years ago, actually. Now we're going through my technique. So I've probably lost that technique a bit by now, but this was saving me and, and still hitting me those distances, I thought, I'm gonna try 160. I've never gone past 150. Wrapped out at 160, and this is how it went. There again. All right, I've hit my limit. <laughs> so as you can see, I was two yards off 160. I reckon if I'd warmed up a bit more, gave a few more casts, I probably would have just about hit that 160 uh, last week but I'm still over the moon with that's the first I've ever cast. And yes, I know that's a spod rod, but that's still a good gauge of how well it performed because I've done that sort of test with other spod rods in the past and never hit those sort of distances. So really, really impressive. And then I put a loaded spod on, so much heavier, less aerodynamic, and I'm still hitting 130 for with, with a loaded spod with that setup. So very, very impressive. Then moved over to these. These are the 12 foot, three and a half pound test curve rods. So cast and weight of between two and four ounces, I think they suggest. And again, I was hitting 130 with those. So very impressive. I'm fishing at 100 today. I just thought I'd fish within my, my range and comfort level. Quite a big crosswind today. So wanted to be accurate and cast at a distance that I knew I'd be able to hit all day. And talking of accuracy, unbelievable as well. I'm fishing at 100 yards, which already for me in my angling is quite a big distance. I never really fish that sort of range Perfect. and much more smaller venues. But I've gone to this range and I want to put three on a spot. Donk. And looking at my line, they are all going out like train tracks so that just is testament to how accurate they are even at 100 yards but all the little things that have gone into this rod have made them as good as they are and i'll try and go through them now and talk to you about them. so it's, it's, firstly it's got fast tapered profile mandrel may not mean a lot to you but it basically means it's extremely progressive and quite tippy you'll find that when you sort of ping the tip the tip has a lot of flex to it but does snap back straight quite quickly excuse the bike going past an extra road but it does snap back quite quickly so 
it shows that the, the action is going to be in the tip when you're playing fish. So even though they're, they're built to be quite big distance rods, it doesn't matter playing fish on the rod tip, it's going to absorb those lunges. But as you go through the bend and into more of the, the beefy part of the rod, that's where the power is for the cast. So you can really hit those reserves fishing at the range arm today, absolutely no problems. But if you're going to push that even further, no issues whatsoever. I think from what Core have passed on, the information they've given me, the likes of Daryl Peck and Terry Edmonds have been testing these rods to well in excess of 200 yards in actual fishing situations. So in the correct hands and correct setup and correct casting capabilities, these are really going to hit those distances and have been proven to do so. And that's going to be in an upcoming film from Core, I believe as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that and see someone other than myself actually putting these rods through their paces and hitting those distances. Distances. But it's also used an extremely high quality grade of carbon using two layers and very minimal amount of resin that's in turn makes it stiffer but also much lighter and a light rod is much easier to get sort of speed and, and accuracy in the cast not going to worry around where you down are. It's also going to snap back much quicker. And for those of you that really want to know the exact carbon, I've got the name over here before I forget, it's 090, a super tensile high grade Japanese carbon. So I don't know anything about carbon, but they've sourced the best carbon they possibly could because there's no point in putting a cheaper alternative in here when these are designed to be at the top of their game. And I've, as I've said, just casting these around, you can feel it. It just snaps back so quickly. And the accuracy that I've been getting is just second to none. I don't think I've used a set of rods that have been this accurate on, a, on the first session I've ever used them. It's not like I've had to get used to them. I've just used them and they've worked straight away. And of course, with it being that lightweight, there's no sense in putting any kind of heavy guides on. So you've got the lightweight TDG C guides on there. You've got 50 mil to 60 mil ringing pattern. So a nice large butt eye. And that means that all the line coming off your spool as it's flying off your spool has a big opening for that line to funnel down through, tapers down nicely to the 60 mil ringing pattern, anti-frap tip at the very end. So they cast an absolute dream. Retrieving them, I haven't retrieved a fish yet, unfortunately. I was hoping that would happen today. I came to probably one of the best venues in my area for a bite, even in the winter, and nothing's happened. But anyway, that's those pretty much in a nutshell. You've got a Fuji DPS reel seat to a Japanese shrink wrap handle, which is really nice and grippy, ever so slightly flared down towards the butt. So really grippy and dry, but also if your hands are wet and grubby, there's no issues with you having slip on those handles. So if you're really casting big distances in horrible weather, you shouldn't have any issues. Finished off on the very bottom is the Corda logo, as you expect, but it's actually been created and designed and made by JAG. So if all of you have heard of JAG before, make incredible stainless steel components. So the fact that it's tipped off of that shows, it's just one of those other little details that proves that everything that's gone into this and all parts of it are the best that can be sourced for this rod. And it's also finished off with a nice matte black finish, really understated graphics. You've got the Kaizen logo just up from the real seat, and that's pretty much it. Some gloss black weapons. You've got the foot marker gloss black, and then around the spigot and the eyes and things, all gloss black, but really understated. So they look really, really smart as well. I like the little silver flex on the top and bottom of the real seat, just to give that separation from the handle to the blank of the rod. And uh, just all round look really, really nice rods. And that also transfers over to the spod rod. Now this one is the 12 foot version. And I, as I said last week, I was casting this to 160 yards or just shy i'm gonna i have to say 158 yards then but exactly the same build you can feel much more beefy nice and sturdy fishing at 100 yards today with a quite a strong crosswind no issues really really accurate as well so that accuracy transfers over to this and although it's a big old tool of the trade it's still a joy to use and obviously paired up with a decent spod reel as well you're going to hit those distances nice and comfortably so these are bespoke rods and the rrps are going to reflect that of course they start from 374.99 all the way up to 479.99 rrp respectively for which ones you're going to go for of course so the 13 foot models are probably going to be the higher end of that price bracket and the 12 footers and, and sort of weaker test curves are going to be at the lower end of that bracket but they are definitely worth it. I know I keep saying that, but I can't stress enough just how impressive I am. Impressive I am. <laughs> impressed I am with these rods, with my abilities, because I, I'm no distance caster, and yet these are getting the best out of me so far. And I'm sure if I was given a longer time with these rods, I'd be hitting greater distances, getting more comfortable with them, pushing them even further, and really enjoying fishing at range. Because once you've got tools that are capable of doing something, you'll enjoy doing it a lot more. 
And I suppose we shouldn't really be, well, I shouldn't really be surprised that these are as good as they are because Danny Fairbrass has been involved in rod making for many, many years. I actually have my own uh, Danny Fairbrass models of the Daiwa Basie X45s, my 12 foot rods, had them for years. They're still going strong and they're very, very accurate. They're super lightweight. And so a lot of that information and knowledge has, has transferred over they've continued to develop and with all the quarter team that have had their input as well and fishermen actually using these rods to develop them to the, the best of their ability and the best range all of that is combined into one for continued improvement which is kaiser nicely looped back to the name quite a clever name and it's very uh, handy that the k matches the k of quarter so yeah very, very impressed. For more information, do head over to the Corda website. Maybe look at them online to get your hands on them and keep your eyes peeled on the Corda page because they are going to be doing some videos with these being fished at range, unlike me today at 100 yards. But I'm still happy with that, fishing accurately. So for more information, go over to those websites and also subscribe to us if you haven't done so already and hit us up on all different social media platforms coming up on your screen right now. That's it from me for now. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon. Continued improvement. That's what a blank does to you. It's not a blank, it's a learning curve for continued improvement. How was your fishing session? Ah, it's all about the Kaizen. You blanked then? Yes, I blanked.